Hello, my name is Adrian Richards. I'm a plastic surgeon, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a type of breast reconstruction which is known as the latissimus dorsi uh, breast reconstruction. Now, latissimus dorsi is a large flat muscle on your back, um, and you know, on very fit people, you can sort of see the front outline of it, you know, coming down here on the uh, back. The latissimus dorsi muscle can be used for breast uh, reconstruction and it's one of the most reliable uh, ways of performing this. So essentially what happens is after a mastectomy you lose some, some nipple normally, some skin from the uh, breast and also the breast tissue. The latissimus dorsi can be uh, raised from the back, so often with an area of skin uh, on top of it, the muscle is sort of lifted up and the actual blood supply, luckily, comes from the armpit. So the muscle then can be swiveled around to the front, under the skin, so that you, your patch of skin, your paddle of skin that was on the back, is now on the uh, breast. So it's normally sort of an oval uh, shape which replaces the breast tissue that you've lost. If you're having an immediate reconstruction, the surgeon can measure the area of skin they're removing and correspondingly uh, get exactly the same uh, area of skin from the uh, back to reconstruct the area. So the tissue, the tissimus dorsi, it's called a pedicled transfer. All a pedicled transfer means is that the tissue remains intact. So the blood supply remains intact. So you, the blood supply is coming from the armpit down to the muscle. So everything's freed up except for the blood supply and then the, t the tissue's moved around the front. So you don't need to reconnect any blood supply as you do in other type of reconstructions which I'm going to discuss in future videos. So it's called a pedicled. All a pedicle means, a pedicle is a bridge of tissue which connects the tissue to the body. So pedicled flat reconstruction, the tissue remains intact but is rotated into position. So latissimus dorsi, because it's a muscle, has a really good blood supply. So it's very unusual for you to get any problems with the muscle when it's been uh, moved um, and it's very, very reliable. Um, now, sometimes with um, latissimus dorsi flaps, because the muscles are quite slim, um, there won't be enough tissue to reconstruct the whole breast. So to give you enough volume um, to match your other breast. And so you may need a small implant under the latissimus dorsi flap to equalize the volume. This isn't so much of a problem because implants, when they're covered with good, reliable latissimus dorsi um, tissue with good blood supply, are very reliable. You tend to get more problems with breast implants when they're under thin tissue um, in radiated skin. So uh, one of the main types of breast reconstruction is latissimus dorsi flap with a small implant. Now, if you're lucky enough to have sufficient tissue on your back and you don't want that big a, a breast reconstruction, we're not looking to get too much volume, you could have a latissimus dorsi flap without a breast implant, and that's known as an extended latissimus dorsi flap. Basically, your surgeon uses the muscle, but also um, gets quite a lot of the fatty tissue from in, on top of the muscle and swings that over, and in some cases, that's sufficient so you don't need an implant. If you can avoid an implant, it's good, because implants aren't natural substances. You know, they won't grow with you. They're not natural to the body, so if you can avoid them, all the better. Um, and in some cases, extended latissimus dorsi, you will be able to do that. So in summary, the latissimus dorsi breast reconstruction flap is a very good uh, alternative for you, very reliable, relatively quick recovery, um, gives you good stable tissue in your breast area, but the downside is that you will have a scar on your back from where the flap is removed, where the flap of tissue is removed. This scar can be in various different orientations, but is normally quite transverse along where your bra line would be, so it will be hidden in swimwear. But you really need to discuss with your surgeon where your scar is going to be and why he's going to use that particular scar pattern. So on balance, latissimus dorsi, extremely reliable, you know, extremely you know, widely used method of breast reconstruction, um, and uh, many people you know, have been very happy with that um, treatment. The downside is, of course, that scar on the back. So thanks very much for watching the video, and we hope you'll be able to see the rest in the series.